Andy Goldsworthy is a British artist born in 1956, and he's known for his nature-based artworks that focus on natural materials and the passage of time. We can refer to his artworks as installations, which means that the artwork is three-dimensional and is designed to transform and interact with the space where it is presented. Andy Goldsworthy is both the sculptor and the photographer of his work. He crafts his installations out of rocks, ice, leaves, branches, and much more. He's fully aware that the landscape where he creates his artwork will change. The sun will rise and set, snow will melt, waters will flow, and winds will blow, all causing his artworks to change and potentially even be destroyed. His work is a collaboration between himself and nature. Two documentaries were made that really highlight his process and work. They are called Rivers and Tides and Leading into the Wind. After viewing his work, I was inspired to make a piece of my own. While on a walk with my dog and my husband, I started to collect nature items that I could use in my artwork. I found so many leaves and berries, all of different colors and shades, and Doodle was definitely happy to be out enjoying some sunshine. While on my walk, I even came across a stick artwork left behind by another artist, as well as some really cool wildlife. If you are planning to make your own Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork, be sure to check with your parents and guardians about where you can go to collect items and if it is okay to pull leaves or flowers off of bushes. Try to look for things already on the ground and be mindful about anything potentially poisonous. I brought all of the items that I collected out onto my balcony to work. You want to make sure that you are working outside because just like Andy Goldsworthy's installations, we are allowing our artworks to interact with nature and the setting we place our artwork in. You can create any design that you would like. Try to think about different shapes and patterns, symmetry and balance, and most importantly, remember to have fun. Make sure to take some good pictures of your artwork when you finish and be sure to send them my way because I can't wait to see what you've made. And I just wanted to show you guys that I left my artwork outside just overnight and the winds were blowing some of my pieces around, the leaves had started to change colors, and of course a nosy little animal also played his part in making some changes. Remember, this is part of the process.